Hi, Gracie and I are here to say hello and that we haven't fallen off the face of the earth, although it kind of seems like it. Um, it's just been an interesting time lately and I'm struggling with how to deal with all the stuff that's happening. But in general, uh, everything's great. Um, I got to go see my parents, which is the most wonderful thing on the planet. I have been keeping myself so away from the world so that I could actually go visit them and not worry about infecting them or whatever, or getting them sick. And they've been doing the same. So finally, it felt like the, the perfect opportunity for us to get together. So we did. I drove down just myself um, and I spent a bit there with them. And oh my gosh, something about going home. I don't even know what it is. They live in the house that they lived in, you know, when I, what I lived in when I was a child. Um, we moved there when I was two. So it's just, you know, that's really going home. And my parents being there and all the normal summer stuff is kind of happening in a, in, you know, in a, in a kind of way. And I don't know, it's just therapeutic, very therapeutic. So it was great to be with them. Um, I can't wait to go back again. So very soon I hope to, to plan a trip back again. But that was one thing that I did. And it's so neat because the drive there, I videotaped a little bit of it just because it's just so epic. I absolutely love it. Um, from here, we're west of Chicago and you drive a bit and then you get to Chicago-ish area. I don't go that where I'm in the city, but um, you know, south of it. And then it's just kind of cornfields and soybean fields and so forth. And then it is Lafayette and then it's Indianapolis and then it's there. So, in, so it's this weird kind of a, a to and from thing. I don't know. It's hard to explain, but it's just like it, it starts off more city and then it has a little bit of city bits in the middle, but then generally speaking, it gets to be more country farmland toward the end and it just makes your blood pressure go down and it just makes everything just seem so much more relaxed and it's just amazing. And then of course I have my two sweet parents greeting me when I get there. So, um, can't beat that. Can't beat that. I'm so blessed to still have them. My dad turned 90 in March and I hadn't been able to see him because the day after was the day the lockdown started and we knew it was going to happen. So I didn't go. So anyway, I haven't seen him since he turned 90, but now I have, and he's doing really well. Um, you know, obviously there's issues, but in general, he's doing great. Um, uh, no one would ever believe he's 90. You know, if you don't really know what all he's going through, you'd never guess it uh, to know him. But anyway, just really nice. My mom's doing well also. Uh, great to be with him. So anyway, I did that. That's where I've been. Loading up the car, I'm so excited. So do you guys have like a playlist that you play? when you drive places, like if you have a long drive somewhere. I don't know, I collected this group of songs that just, it's kind of like my happy, fun, they always get me in a better mood and they're great for driving. This, these songs, this playlist of mine. And I add to it all the time and sometimes I take a few off if I'm kind of tired of them or whatever. But um, it's a mix of all sorts of years and um, genres or whatever, uh, different styles and stuff, but basically they're all just kind of happy and boppy and After keep me. One mile, keep left. She just can't stop. Okay, she always wants me to go left. Anyway, <laughs> um, she's gonna keep saying this. So let me see if I can get her to shut up next time. Um, what was I saying? Oh yes, my playlist. I just kind of keep it on my phone and then I connect it to my car uh, speakers and I bebop down the road and it makes the time go so much faster and keeps me awake and alert and I just sing at the top of my lungs because I can, I'm in the car alone and you know, it's not gonna bother anybody. Um, and I love to do that because for some reason, I've always um, had this thing about learning the words to songs. Like I can hear a song once or twice and I have all the words just memorized for life. It is the strangest thing. 
Um, yeah. After 0.4 mile, keep left. So I've never listened to an audiobook. Um, I keep thinking I'm going to do that sometime. Maybe I'll download one and listen to one on the way home. See what that does for me. But I'm worried that I don't, I wouldn't stay focused on the road. Somehow the music helps me stay focused on the road. I don't know. Maybe I'll try it sometime. But yeah, that's what I do. Just wanted to share. Okay, I'm at a rest stop. Time to go to the bathroom and not touch anything. <laughs> All right, here we go. Okay, I did it. Um, here's a little bit of trivia that you might not know. Um, there was a study done once that says that the, um, the bathroom stall closest to the door like when you first walk into a public bathroom is the least used so it's usually the cleanest one so for some reason people bypass that very first stall and go to the next or whatever so always get that first stall any chance you get because <laughs> that's usually the cleanest one um yeah that's that's interesting information that you all need to know all right let's get back on the road guys we're making pretty good time It is really beautiful today though, I gotta say. It's gorgeous outside and the scenery is actually very pretty. Follow the motorway for 100 miles. 100 miles guys, 100 miles. University, which is where myself and my husband both graduated from, where we met, and um, my oldest daughter graduated from Purdue also, and my sister and her husband and just a whole lot of people in our family. So anyway, this is the Purdue area and I'm all excited. So I just also crossed over the river there and it brought up so many memories of um, summer times. The last two summers at Purdue uh, when I was still, still, you know, a student my hubby who was my boyfriend at the time we would we both spent the summers there and we had jobs and stuff for the for the summer so i took some classes too i worked at target i was a cashier at target um and took a couple of summer classes so anyway that's what happened and we would uh one time we went to kmart and we bought a blow-up raft thing and we took my car to one spot down the river and then we took the raft and some food and some towels and things and took the way up river is that right yeah up river parked his car there blew up the raft grabbed our stuff and we just floated down the river till we got to my car area which was actually quite quite a ways um so we were floating down the river that day and uh so we got to my car and then we pulled off and then went back to get his car. So anyway, that was really fun. I remember that so much. Um, there was a place called Fort Wiatnon that we used to go uh, hang out and we would uh, do little barbecues and stuff. <laughs> so we just made our own little fun in the summer while we were there. And it brought all those memories back just passing it. So anyway, I had to share that with you.
a little story time. Um, <laughs> if you're new or just, you know, you didn't know this already about me, I grew up in the country in uh, just cornfield across the street, um, perfect little hometown kind of a thing. Um, farmers markets, you know, we had a garden out back. I was always in charge of dealing with the strawberries. Every summer I was hunched down picking strawberries. Um, my mom did canning of a whole bunch of vegetables and fruits and, you know, all that kind of thing. Um, tons and tons of stories of the county fair. And my sister was fair queen uh, one year, which is hilarious, but um, that was great. So that was, you know, she was fair queen, just so cool. So basically I have one older sister. <clears throat> she now lives in San Diego and comes and visits as often as possible. She's at, she, gosh, she was here like every two months last year to visit my parents. So um, she comes an awful lot, bless her heart. Uh, so anyway, I have grown up um, just doing things, you know, that in kind of a small, small-ish town country way. It's just sort of how it's been and that's who I am. Um, and I love it. I absolutely would not have given it up for the, for the world. Just the simple things, the picnics and the bike rides and the going to the lake in the summer. We had a dune buggy for a while in the 70s and we would take, we would load it up with the picnic basket and um, we would take the dune buggy down to the lake <clears throat> and spend the day. So that is part of what we would do, you know, part of my childhood. Just all the good stuff, you know, just a, there are a lot of good things still about, you know, being in the country. It's gorgeous. Let me show you. And then also, many people from my town have a bit of a southern accent. Um, and so whenever I have been here for a bit, like even a few days, my accent comes back. Like almost instantly, it's kind of funny. So on my drive back, if I have a bit more of a twang, that's why. So anyway, just sharing, we're almost there. I just wanted to enjoy. I didn't want to record. I didn't want to do videos at that point in time. I just really wanted to soak it in and enjoy. So that's where I have been. I am back now and um, I have a friend coming over to meet me on the patio. We're going to have a drink on the patio and chat. We have, I've not had anyone over in any way, shape or form since, you know, before March. And um, so this is going to be a really nice little hello again and safely at least six feet apart outside on the patio. So yeah, this is the my flowers, you know, I just got it all kind of kind of going on here. The breeze is beautiful, just amazing. And so I'm just kind of getting things ready. And I have some bacon wrapped shrimp I'm going to stick on the grill and we're going to just sort of munch on those while we chat. So anyway, that's what's happening. And I just want to let you guys know because I have been missing a little bit, um, just kind of reevaluating and that's just a whole lot of what I'm doing is reevaluating. So we'll see. I will see you guys very soon and I want you to have a great day. Bye.